I recently picked up a couple of pounds of Cerobend to use as a filler while bending tubing. Cerobend is a eutectic alloy of bismuth, lead, tin, and cadmium. A eutectic alloy is one that melts or solidifies at a single temperature that is lower than the melting point of any of the substances in the mixture. Cerobend melts sharply at 158 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius, well below the boiling point of water. This makes it ideal for melting in a double boiler. Direct heating of the alloys should be avoided to prevent overheating. Cerobend isn't cheap, but in addition, it's also very sensitive to contamination. So to help me keep this alloy separate from my other alloys that I use in the shop, I decided to make an open mold, one that would allow me to recast ingots, clearly identifying it as Cerobend when I'm done working. The hot plate heat control is done by a PID controller, a little homemade jobber. Generally use it for black oxide coating on steel, but I thought it would work ideal for maintaining the required 70 degrees Celsius uh, for the uh, cerro bend. We'll see. The double boiler consists of a stainless steel pot and a Pyrex measuring cup. I originally thought the Pyrex measuring cup would be ideal for this, as I could readily pour the alloy once it was heated. Uh, we'll find out later that this really didn't work out very well. The alloy doesn't take heat up very quickly. The heat transfer uh, is relatively slow. I would say it took two or three minutes uh, to become molten. You can see here that I'm stirring it uh, with a stainless rod and it's almost ready to be molded. I'm going to remove the thermal couple. It's held there with a clip and set it aside and move on to molding. I lubricated the mold with some spray oil. The first pour went well. The uh, water wasn't a problem. It actually warmed up the mold a little bit. Uh, the cerro bend uh, went into the mold, it seemed to fill well, and uh, I just had a little bit of dross or, or porosity on the back side. After cooling the part in the sink, I had a few smart blows with the mallet, released it from the mold, and it looks pretty good. A little bit cold, but it looks good. Ever being the perfectionist that I am, I decided that I would recast until I had a perfect part. Unfortunately, this is where things really started to go wrong. Uh, as you notice, uh, as the cerro bend goes into the mold, uh, it generates some foam, the porosity. I really couldn't nail down why that was. I probably went through the process uh, five or six times. I uh, tried different things uh, and ultimately decided that the uh, problem was exposing the molten seropen uh, to the atmosphere, to the air, was causing it to create this oxide layer that was really hard and crusty and actually crunchy in some places. It was really a problem. After so many failed attempts, I decided I would try just casting it in place. I put the mold in the boiling water, allowed the ingot to remelt in place, and then skimmed off the oxides using the skimmer. And this worked out amazingly well. The uh, oxides came off dry, uh, almost like you were skimming off aluminum, but it was underwater. It was so unreal, it was, so, it was not natural uh, skimming underwater. I then poured in some cool water and allowed the ingot to solidify and here you can see I'm just finishing up with the uh, second bit of cold water and then getting ready to uh, pull this out of the pot and take a look at it. But this looks a lot better. After pulling the ingot out of the pot, the mold was still a little bit warm, so I quenched it, got it nice and cool, and then gave it a few smart hits with the hammer to release it. Overall, everything looks really good. I'm happy with the results, and uh, I learned a lot.